Shall return. Is that fear I smell? All right, I'm going. You too will be judged. Yeah, can you hear me now? Is it fine? Yes, what? Hello? Microphone muted. Simki start. Simki start is there? Yes. Activated. Microphone muted. Is the sound fine now? Microphone activated. Okay. Microphone muted. The rest of the picks, Jinx and Braum for the blue team, and Malzahar and Ezreal being covered and locked in right now for the red team. So Ezreal, Leona, and Malzahar. Leona and Malzahar will offer a lot of CC for them. Basically, whoever Malzahar can catch out will definitely be CC'd by the Leona as well, and pretty sure should be dead. Um, a Choga fan for I the top lane, Sejuani for the jungle. Sejuani is banned quite often right now. Just because she gets so tanky later on and it's so hard to kill. A Vagar ban, mm, that's interesting. I guess it's something. They're afraid the enemy team will pick. Because Vigar does my get will. a bit scary in the late game. Can pretty much one shot up any of the carries. And another jungler ban. So three jungle bans for from the, from the blue side. Kha'Zix, Sejuani and Jarvan. So they're pretty much trying to pinch the enemy jungler's champion pool. And it's a Kled locked in. Hello, Swat. Yeah. Uh, is there any noise in my uh, mic? I mean, there is some background noise, but we can hear you fine. And from the blue side, the last two picks are Maokai and Lux. Which really rounds out the comp quite well, especially with the amount of CC they will have from Braum, Maokai, and Lux, they should be able to... Yeah. They have a like really good front line, plus the back line is like really good. Lux can give like really good damage. 
from then back to the side. Jinx yeah. can stay behind Brom, Sajani, Brom, Shivana, and Malkai. Then yeah, it, it should be pretty easy for her to deal some damage onto the mm. team. Yeah, and if Israel is not fed, Israel is not fed, then it will be hurt him, hurt for him to get like down the tanks, like Malkai, Brom, or Shivana, right? And the enemy team's jungler is in Zhao, which against the amount of CC that the blue team have would be hard for him. But if he can get ahead with the Malzahar, they can really look to set up some picks. And we'll be looking at the Zen Zhao to create some pressure in the early game, where Shivana will probably be looking to farm up to level 6. The bot lane though I expect to be quite interesting because Jinx and Braum are pretty strong in the laning phase but the enemy team has a Leona who might look to go aggressive, right? Yeah, uh, like uh, Israel with Leona is like, um, I don't get that point, like you, you go all in with Israel in early level it won't work like that, right? Because Braum and Jinx is like really good in lane. Yeah, because Ezreal doesn't do much damage in the early game. In the early game, yeah. He has to buy a tier, so it doesn't really offer much damage. But Jinx, on the other hand, if the Braum stacks get propped and they get those stuns in there, then yeah, might be some kills for them. Yeah, uh, definitely. But I think the the key point is the ganks, right? Like, Xin Zhao's early gang is like really good, right? Yeah. If you can ganks early in the bot lane, because Leona is there for them, they might just pull it off right and that's what they should look to do set up the bot lane ganks with the leona for this as well and get the kills that way yeah and in the mid lane as well if malzar can get a good ult onto the lux then that should be a kill for him as well if yeah. they can get it yeah if... now in in case of the jungler shivana's early pressure is like really not that much because he's like oh. a farming jungler early she pretty much farm farms the entire early game till she gets level six at least. It's like uh, though Shivana needs the dragon mostly. What do you think about the Malzar ignite? Um, I guess. Malzar is gonna use the unsealed spell book, so the ignite is there just for the early game pressure. Might look to do some damage with it, but pretty sure it's gonna get changed off soon enough. Either that or he just wants to go all in. That's that's one of those things. I'm not sure which one though. As soon as we see which keystone he took, we we can say for sure which which of those two things he's gonna look to do. Whether he's gonna look for kills in the laning phase or whether he's gonna change it off. But he he is against Lux, right? Like he Lux is one of the most ranged safest picks. Uh, yeah, safest pick, right? So he can I don't think he can like like get easily to him and uh, just give him the ignite and kill him, right? Without Xin Zhao's help. Before probably, level that's, probably that's what they're gonna do. Like ask the Xin Zhao to gank mid a couple of times if they find the Lux pushed up mm -hmm. and get the kills that way. Yeah, that's true. And in the top lane, Maokai against Kled. Kled does apply some pressure to the Maokai. And has some kill threat. But once the Maokai gets the tanky items, some armor stacked, then the kill threat is pretty much gone. But he does need to survive till that point though. Maokai, I mean. Yeah, Mauka is basically a teamwork champion, right? Yeah. But clearly is like uh, good at split push. Yeah, split pushing, but he does have his ult though, which is good for initiating team fights. And although we see the unsealed spellbook on Lux, Malvahar opted instead for the Airy, which is quite surprising. People do usually tend to go for the Unsealed Spellbook on Malzahar nowadays, but 
I guess, as I was saying, he just wants to kill someone in the laning phase. That's why he opted for the more aggressive mastery. But overall, both of the team comps look quite good. The blue team's team comp does seem a bit focused around the late game where Jinx does become the hyper carry that they want her to. And the red team's team comp seems more focused around the early skip game where Zilza and Malzahar will make by a lot of pressure. And Kled as well. Um, GG, can we sync up our timing? What time are you at right now? Uh, I'm at 24. 25, 26. Yeah. The thing is, we don't need to sync with ourselves, we need to sync with the streamer, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Is GG there? Okay, let me, let me ask him. GG, yeah, what time it, it is in your uh, stream? Yeah, I can check that though. No, the stream is a bit delayed, so... Mm -hmm. I think G is um, the guess. Yeah. yeah, probably. Wake up. Anyways, the red team and the blue team are... Mm, ...taking pretty defensive positions right now. Yeah, they're not going to invade. Yeah, now the team is looking for the red team invades. The red team did place the uh, ward though, in front of the brush. Which might spot out some of the members of the blue team, but nah, they they don't decide to go for anything. And we see the blue team starting the red buff, and the red team starting the blue buff. Yeah, I, I oh, just and the red team starting the red buff. Actually. Yeah, as I told you, right? Zino is like trying to get the bot lane yeah, early and get bot right. Or mid, perhaps. Maybe he'll look for a level to gank at mid, but could also be the case. Yeah, but ganking a Lux isn't that good with the Mazhar, because there is no... Um, well, it, that is the case, but Lux did just push the wave quite hard right now. Yeah. Just now she pushed the wave quite hard and is positioned a bit far forward, so might be where he looks to gank first. Might not. We'll have to see how that goes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> In bot lane we expect will pretty much be both AD guys looking to farm and both supports looking to go aggressive with the enemy general or their general right? Yeah. Yeah, it The only place that Zinzao right now gank right now is mid lane because it's like really pushed. Uh, it's just so obvious. So yeah, bot is also pushing. There is no word at bot right now. Yeah, and Zinzao is coming bot. Yeah, he is heading there, but I don't think he, he can gank Suda. Can he? And I don't think it's... Uh, really yeah, they, 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 they're thinking it right now. Jinx faces the brush, walks into the Zinza. He only ah. lands for stun. Yeah. That might be first blood for the red team. It is. I, I don't get it, like, why Bomb is there and, like, Jinx is, like, face taking the bush when... Yeah. There is Bomb a time to Zinza to one. gank, right? Like, like, two minutes, you all know that this is the time when Junglers wants to gank. Definitely. Bomb should have been the one checking the brush, not Jinx. Jinx walking in there all by herself. Don't get CC to that pretty much. And as we were saying, the early game gang from Zinzao does get the kill. Yeah. Oh, that Leona died though. Yeah, that I don't think she wanted to land that. <laughs> pretty pretty sure she just wanted to scare the brawl, but ended up yeah, losing a lot of her health for nothing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Zinza counter jungling quite well, clears the entire red side jungle of Shivana. Microphone activated. Yeah. 
Microphone muted. Okay, Israel got his tier. Yeah, he he was the one who got the first, but he got the tier and the call, which is pretty good for his lane. Yeah. Shivana looking bot side, but I don't think they, they can set up the gank there. Maka and Claire trading quite aggressively with each other, but mm, I don't think either of them can kill the other one right now. Not without any items. Maokai does manage to dismount the clan, but ooh, the kill pressure isn't really there. Maokai is heading into Zinzal's jungle quite deep, places a ward in, in the red pit. Which is quite smart by her, we'll spot out the Zinzal right now as he walks by. So, yeah, quite... Early words are really good in early level though, because uh, like you can predict the gang where to Yeah, the, the enemy jungler's pathing will be spotted out. Yeah. Pretty much all the lanes farming up quite well at the moment. Uh, we'll have to wait till probably Zinzal's next gank till we see much action, right? The bot lane is actually behind like 20 CS. Yeah, that's because of the first blood that uh -huh. lost. Jinx died and yeah, that ended up costing her quite a lot. Yeah. Ezreal yeah, Arcan shifting aggressively. Wow! And uh, bro missed that. Yeah. That was quite risky of me. Uh. So Cled looking for like Cled looking for a room in the middle. Room in the middle, yeah. Has it out, oh. but yeah. It's spotted out by the wards, right? Yeah, like me and her have the like easiest skill right now because the Mazer ult, right? And uh, Lux was uh, like almost half health. Yeah, and if they have the Kled ult to initiate, That's then um... Mazer can just run in, doesn't even need to flash ult. Yeah, he's going for the counter gang at blue side. Counter gang, yeah, and, definitely. And, and he will get the blue though. Yeah, he's definitely gonna steal out the blue buff. Ivana doesn't know that he's there, so can't really do anything about it. He might look for a gank in the top lane. Yeah. Oh boy, Maokai walks right in. Probably gonna have to blow her flash. Yeah, the he, he flashed in the wrong way though. Yeah, could have. I don't know why he over the wall. The, yeah, I don't know why he flashed that way. Probably because she knew that Shivana was coming, and Lux probably said that she was gonna follow up. And as a result, she tried to flash towards them, but she should have just taken the easier route. Just take the safer uh, way. In the meantime, Israel is like going ham on. Wrong. Yeah, and I think it, it's it will be hurt for Israel to live. Okay, he flashed away. The Braum yeah. is going to die on. Uh... Braum uses flash as well. Both of them end up living. But that was a, like really bad uh, E from the Israel. Like... Yeah, the Arcane shift was quite risky, but he thought he could get the kill on the Braum probably. That's why he went. But Braum was almost, almost full health, dude. Like, At the moment, he... but he did get Braum low. Yeah. Didn't end up getting the kill though. 
And the other reason was probably because they were both level 6, right? The enemy enemy bot lane was still level 5. I don't know. Uh, Rom do have his uh, on a bomb, doesn't have his health. Zinzal we see again from the jungle Yeah, uh, he saw Shivan at bot lane and Yeah, knew that his top tower. knew that the top side was open for him to take That's the... And we'll look for another gank in the top lane probably Maokai going in aggressive but doesn't know that the Zinzal is coming right now and... what, do you, what do you think about the Maokai's item? Like, Maokai's uh, item? He went um, for the Sunfire Cap Sunfire Cap for the laning phase isn't that bad to be honest because Gled does jump on top of you quite often and the Sunfire Cap does help Maokai in the trades against melee champions quite well. But yeah, it's not bad. The Sunfire Cap for Maokai is quite good to be honest. But right now I don't think the item is gonna help him very much because Zinza is probably going to get another successful gank in the top lane. Okay, they are paused again. The resume coming in. And Maokai does go down to the general. Mm, yeah. So that's a pretty fed in Tao right now, right? Mm. It's gonna be scary for the blue team. Yeah. User joined your channel. And Zinza going aggressive onto the top lane tower. They mind him. They might yeah, actually get the first yeah. turret right there. Oh, Leona trying to open ball. the dive onto the Jinx. Does flash the other way. Leona is probably gonna die, but Ezreal might. Nah, Ezreal doesn't get the double kill. Oh, Leona got the other kill. Never mind, it wasn't gonna be a double kill. So. What time is it? You're in? I'm at 10.55. Six, seven, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm Microphone activated. Eleven, ten. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm posted. Okay, okay. Oh, I just saw that Zinx. Got yeah, that Zinx. Okay. Microphone muted. So yeah, the the blue team do get the dragon, but the bot lane dies in the process. But it was a two, two for one, like Israel died as well. Israel died later on due to the Jinx ult and Kled lost his TP in the process as well. So yeah, they, they did come out ahead in that trade. Yeah. It, it was quite a risky dive by the Leona. By the Leona, honest. yeah. Because I know that Jinx is pretty far behind, but diving a Braum isn't really easy. Yeah. Mm, I'm a stream up that's fine. But... Oh. Sir, what time are you now? I'm no. at 12, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Tell me, when are you are in 20, okay, sir? 20, okay. 19, 20. Like, okay. 21, 20. Um, so yeah, despite all of the action throughout the map, the mid lane has pretty much been farm up, right? <laughs> farm up lands, yeah. But I don't know why, like, uh, Lux went for a QSS, like, in the early stage. It's just so that Malvar can't work. There's a fight in the bot lane, Leona does uh, fight all those. There's a four Lana man gang, five man gang at five bot lane. Five man, yep. But I, I think Brom will die, maybe die. Oh no, he lived. Oh no, he lived, he lived. And that's... Israel died. Yeah. That was that's... like really nice com combo there, but I think it's still not worth it because they will get the top maybe. Huh. They might not lose the tower, but no, no, they do lose. It. 
Yeah, it was kind of worth. What did yeah, Zings go? What one kill? And I think another one got Ivana. Yeah, Shivana got the other one. Yeah. Zinzao does head bot lane to save that tower. Level 9 Zinzao. Yeah, he is quite strong. And he's going for the Triforce though. So Triforce on Zinzao not that good? No, no, it's really good. But like in, in team games, like it you will be like really squishy because like two uh, damage item like if you go in and you will be just dying but like it's not bad when you are like so ahead and you get a, a triforce early so it's, it's not a bad thing to do yeah we see the blue ball being handed up to love there are wards littered throughout their blue side jungle yeah. which they don't see yet one pink and one side one you see the bot lane being shoved out quite hard because they might look for a dive. Zinza is heading bot lane as well, so I think they saw that. I think yeah, they, they did see that, but they should back off right now. But, they can't really fight the Zinza at the moment. Leona uses her ult, goes in by herself. But Zinza this is too deep. Yeah, like, Zinza is looking to back off, so I don't think they can follow it up. There is like a, almost uh... Ivana trying to gank in the mid lane, but Kledal does come in. He goes aggressive onto the last. Okay, and the Malzahar right? flash of the Shivana for the kills. So that was what I was saying, like Lux with a QSA it won't work because like if Junglist comes to gang and uh, like he Malzahar will ult him, right? Not the Lux. Yeah, in a 2v2 definitely. Yeah. Um, Maokai got, gets caught. I don't know why Maokai went there and died in something. Yeah, the passing from that side wasn't really... It doesn't have a complete item either, like, you just go and like, yes. The red team looking to get the rift held as well, while the, their bot lane applies more pressure on to the bot lane second tier tower. Shivana is heading there right now, so they okay. will need to back off, otherwise they might end up the ward is like heavily worded by the red team, like... Yeah, the warding you have to say has been... Hey, I don't know why Lux is going there. Solo. That's a flash by the Kled, she uses the QSS. Yeah. Sure, yeah. I don't know why she went there, I have no idea about that. I think she was trying to steal the Rift Herald, but that wasn't really happening with Zinzao being there at the moment. Just giving him a fair kill. Like the blue team is like really behind right now because like 8k gold lead in early level is like really good. Yeah, that is a lot. Uh, though they have a Shivana, Maokai and Zinx with a Lux, but still it's like so, too much. Yeah, the thing is they their comp is quite centered around the late game, right? Yeah. So if they go to the late game with such a huge deficit that they can't even fight even, please, yeah. that's gonna be quite hard for them. And Infernal is going up for the red team, I think they will go for it. Yeah, probably Zinza is gonna secure that by himself. Kled looking to push in the top lane even harder. Leona is just sitting beside the dragon, looking to see if they can pick anyone off. Zinzao and Leona do start it off. Shivana might get caught out if she goes aggressive. Rom walks in by himself, Shivana is in as well, but they can't really kill off the Zinzao. They do manage to kill off the Zinzao at the moment, but, but one for Kled two is there. Uh, um, Lux does QSS the Malzahar all, but the Leona stun does come in. The blue... Team, where well, remember short right? You know why Maokai didn't TP because he had a TP like. Yeah, they were a member short. I'm not sure if the communication wasn't there, but that's not a fight they should have taken if they were gonna fight. They should have just left the dragon because like they are so behind. They need to. They save for farm up yeah. instead of look for fight. 
And yeah, the Maokai TP might have changed the outcome of the fight. Maokai does TP in right now. I don't know uh, why they TP right now. That's in the middle of three people. She will die again right now. Yeah, I don't think that's the fight she wants. Jinx is there. Shivana does come in as well. But Kled walks in from the mid lane. Oh, they, they, yeah, they don't look for the fight. Oh, nice, nice. That's one kill for the Brahmin, one kill for the Jinx. And was yeah, the TP, the TP does worked out, work yeah. out. Shivana walks into Zinza, though. That's not really someone she oh, can work out. Oh, yeah. Moment. Flashes out. Yeah. The Israel Al almost, almost died. Out. Oh, that was close. Kled walks into the middle of four people. Against right the 4v2, right I think they can win this fight, but yeah, Zinza is like so fed. Right now, Zinza is like, like so fed that. Yeah, pretty much any fight they take. That's a triple kill for the like Lander. everything was blocked in his ult in Zinza's ult, like the Lux uh, auto and the Zing's auto as well. So he didn't get a single hit. Yeah. Ah, this is tough. Man. Yeah, this is gonna be really tough for them. They will lose the inhibitor. They won the fight. They should have the best back, and they fought for the red. It is not. Needed there. Yeah, they got two kills. Should have backed off right there instead of look for another fight. Cause I know it 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 was a four v two, but Brom and Maokai were quite low from the field. Yeah. Right? So. And as soon as those two die, the front line is gone, and that's not a fight they can take anymore. The red team looking for the Baron as soon as it spawns at twenty minutes. Like they have the damage, right? But yeah, they do have the damage. It's still quite risky, though, because it's the early game. It is like really because at early. Oh, the Fedal really... comes in, finds Shivana wandering by herself. She outs in instead of out, gets caught out by. Uh, Led. Uh, Mark, I don't know why Marco is going in. Like he ulted and he should have backed. Like no, okay, no, no. He, he did back it. But, it uh... It's just a defensive wall to make sure that the disengage does come through. But that's. Probably gonna be a Baron for the red. But still, Baron is like really risky right now because they're like really low. If the blue team goes in, like they might get some kills there. Yeah, Slugs they have his ult. Our ult. Good. Maokai is walking in right now. Yeah, I think this is like really risky Baron for the red team, and they're getting the hit. Okay, Lux ulted the Baron. I don't know why. Though. Okay, that's pretty much all of them dead right there only Brom got the kill onto the Malzahar and the rest of them couldn't really do much against the Zinzao and the Kled Leona going quite low because of the Baron might die might die nah manages to leave in the end that was a really good fight for the red team yeah it pulled totally it out really good They stopped Baron and fought, right? Yeah, yeah that, that's what they should have done. If they hadn't fought, instead if they'd gone for the Baron, they would have taken even more damage. And probably might have lost the fight, but... Uh, in the end, they get the kills, they get the Baron. In the meantime, the Clade is like really fed right now. 909, that is like a, a really, really good score there. Okay, the red team have like 2 GA right now, so... Uh, yeah, none of them are dying pretty it's... much. But as a top player, I want to know that, right? I want to know from you, Jay. Like, Mauka build the Sunfire Cap right, right yeah. there, right? But I thought that there is like another item. Um, the Righteous Glory? Righteous Glory, that is also it's, good. It's, it's good for engages, but Sunfire Cap is better for the laning phase. If you want to go for trades in the lane and like overall, mm -hmm. you just want to lane for longer and win the trades better, then the Sunfire Cap is better. Yeah, so he's the said, right is it worth? 
It's, it's, it's not bad. It, it's not the ideal build, but it's not bad. The Righteous Glory is more for the initiates in the fights, you know? It gives you that option. Um, Maokai looking to go aggressive onto the Malzahar, but Leona does find him. Jin Zhao jumps in from the other side of the wall. Bomb tries to block everything to save him, but does get a little bit Malzahar. Shivana ults into the Ezreal, the Leona ult does stun him. Stun her though. Um, Leona diving quite aggressively, but does manage to live. Xin Zhao going in for the dive on to the last. Kled following up as well. Kled going in. Uh, are they getting this age because of the battle wing or they're like... Oh, no. And that's the game for the red team. It's from the Wings of Fire 2 uh, in the game quite... And well played really. by the red game. I played Xin Zhao and I played Kled. Yeah, Kled and Xin Zhao played really uh, well. They just destroyed the blue team. And they played well to their winning conditions. Like they had to look for the Zinzao Gans and the Kled had to win the top lane and that's what they did. Yes, that, that was a like a uh, key point for them. So that'll be it for the game right now. I guess we'll be back later with another one. Microphone activated. Yeah. Uh, sure.